Colleagues and friends, please welcome the officers of the IAU and the co-host of GA 2022 with a big round of applause. To open the closing ceremony, let me first share the finest moments of the IAUJ 2022. I hope the video reminds you happy and rewarding moments we shared together in the past two weeks. Distinguished guests, treasured delegates, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Eri Chang, your MC for the closing ceremony of the 31st General Assembly of International Astronomical Union. Good afternoon to you all. My name is Jae-jun Lee. Well, it, it feels like it was only yesterday I emceed at the opening ceremony, and I can't believe it is already the very last day of our gathering. All good things must come to an end, Ari. I'm most certain that every one of you have had successful and productive days with colleagues and friends from all over the world. You're yeah, right. Then shall we begin the closing ceremony of the 31st General Assembly of IAU? Let me introduce treasured guest joining us this evening. Please stand briefly when I mention your name. Thank you. Deborah Almogren, President of International Astronomical Union. Jose Miguel Rodriguez Espinoza, General Secretary of International Astronomical Union. Willie Benz, President-elect of International Astronomical Union. 
Diana Warrell, Assistant General Secretary of International Astronomical Union. Park Myung-gu, President of the Korean Astronomical Society. Ha kyung Duk, President of the Korea Astronomy and Space Science Institute. Kang Hae-sung, Chair of the IAUGA 2022 National Organizing Committee. Now, let me invite Deborah Elmer-Green, President of the IAU, for a closing remark. Please welcome President Elmer-Green with a warm round of applause. Thank you. Distinguished guests and participants, what a remarkable two weeks we've shared in Busan. This General Assembly was an affirmation that we can carry on the IAU's 100 plus year history of gathering together to share astronomy. The engaging lectures, lively discussions, and interactions have forged new friendships and new collaborations. This assembly has underscored the value of being able to meet face to face again. My deep thanks go to Professor Sung Kang, Professor Byung-Gun Bak, the National Organizing Committee, and our hosts, Cass and Cassie, for pulling off the first hybrid IAUGA with the help of the IAU Secretariat, the PCO, and many, many volunteers. I'm so grateful to all of the participants, both in person and remote, as well as our many sponsors for contributing to its great success. For our one item of business at this GA, the national members voted to accept Georgia as a new national member. We welcome Georgia to our IAU family. One of the duties and privileges of the executive committee is to select the location of future general assemblies. I thank all of the bidders for their outstanding presentations and propose those to host GA 2027. It was an extremely difficult decision. I now have the pleasure to announce the location of the 33rd General Assembly. It will be in Rome, Italy. They hosted the first General Assembly in 1922 and the eighth in 1952. The flag handover to South Africa will help happen at the close of this ceremony to launch the countdown to the 32nd General Assembly. And I look forward to seeing all of you in Cape Town in 2024. Meanwhile, we'll continue working on the goals of our strategic plan, bringing astronomy to all. As we return home, we'll carry many fond memories of our GA in beautiful Busan. Boats, beaches, bridges, buildings, and especially building bonds, which is the essence of our General Assemblies. Thank you. Thank you, President Elmer Green, for your warm message. Next, I'd like to invite Jose Miguel Rodriguez Espinosa, General Secretary of IAU, for a closing message. Please welcome General Secretary Espinosa with a big round of applause. Dear colleagues, the General Assembly 2022 is coming to an end. It has been hard work on top of the pandemic, but it has been a great success from which our Korea colleagues must be happy and full of pride. Most of all, Professor Hyesun Khan, whose leadership and guidance brought us from one year to the next, albeit the extra work involved. Many thanks to all the members in her team for your hard and enthusiastic work. The General Assembly has been a well-deserved success. The IAU has provided many grants to allow people to come to Busan and meet their colleagues. One of the IAU main mission is to gather people together and Busan has offered all its warmth to facilitate getting together
to discuss astronomy and learn from each other. Busan, with its universities and high-tech industry, with its friendliness, has been the perfect place to have a general assembly. A general assembly to be remembered for many years. A general assembly that has set the bar high for its diligent preparation and a great result. We have seen many talks from well-established professors, from postdocs and students, all of them great. All of them have enlarged our knowledge of the universe, a universe that still has many surprises to thrill us. Gaia and the WST have particularly impressed me with the data they have collected. The General Assembly is now over. In two years' time, we will move to Cape Town, where a new edition will take place. Congratulations to South Africa, whose astronomy is at the forefront of research. It will also be the first time a General Assembly is held in Africa. Cape Town deserves it. The expectations are high. We all look forward to the General Assembly in South Africa. Hansak Kumida, and many thanks to all the participants. Thank you for your inspiring message. Next, I'd like to invite Willie Benz, President-elect of IAU, for a closing message. Please welcome President-elect Benz. Distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, dear colleagues and friends, General Assembly's rhythm, the life of the IAU. Every three years, the astronomical world gathers together to discuss the state of the art, to report on and assess the progress made towards achieving the IAU's mission's objective. Reaching professional astronomers worldwide has always been at the core of the IAU mission. The use of astronomy to reach people and advance education and development is a more recent addition to the IAU strategy. Individually, astronomers are searching for habitable planets. Collectively, the IAU is using astronomy to make planet Earth a better place to live for all. Astronomy for all was the motto of this GA, and it certainly was for all of us here and all remotely attending from all the parts of the world. And that, thanks to the wonderful work of the National Organization Committee, under uh, the chairmanship of Professor Yesung Kang. I would like to associate myself to the warm thanks already expressed by our President and General Secretary. Nothing would have been possible without you, the generosity of the institutional and private sponsors, and the help of the many volunteers that guided us throughout the whole week, two weeks. Thanks from the bottom of my heart. While we are closing here in Busan, work has already started in Cape Town for GA32 in 2024. After Asia, we moved to Africa for the very first time. Cultural diversity under one sky, pushing for scientific progress and working for peace and prosperity for all. Thank you very much to all. Thank you, President-elect Benz. I now would like to invite Diana Oro, Assistant General Secretary of IAU, for a closing remark. Please welcome Assistant General Secretary Oro. Dear colleagues and distinguished guests, it's a privilege to have been able to participate in this General Assembly already one year into my term of office as Assistant General Secretary. It's given me insight into the hard work which makes such an event a reality. And there are many deserving of our thanks, particularly those who have given freely of their time. This GA 
will remain particularly memorable, not just for all the uncertainties involved in its planning, but the experience itself. The welcome we've received, our scientific exchanges, and the opportunity for a taste of the culture of a country that some of us have not visited previously. For me, it was the first scientific meeting attended in person since the onset of the COVID pandemic, but I hope not the last. So thank you to our hosts here in Busan, and I hope many of you here participate in IAU symposia and general assemblies in the future. Thank you. Thank you for your kind message. Moving on, I'd like to invite Park Young Duk, President of Korea Astronomy and Space Science Institute, for a closing remark. Please welcome President Park with a big hand. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Dear my Honorable Professor Deborah, the President of IAU, and Professor He Seung-gang, the Chair of NOC of this IAUGA 2022, and Professor myung Bak, the President of the Korean Astronomical Society, and many distinguished guests, <clears throat> and all around the world astronomers who participate in the General Assembly on and offline. It is my great pleasure that I can express a warm and heartfelt congratulations on the finale of the 31st IAU GA in great success. Here on today, I'd like to send my personal appreciation to all the NOC members who have shown enormous effort to organize this assembly over the past four years due to the one year delaying of COVID-19. And particularly, I'd like to express my personal gratitude and respect for all the participants who come from the overseas countries in Busan in spite of the unstable international affairs such as Russia, Ukraine war, as well as uh, the COVID pandemic situation. I'm sure that you could uh, confirm your capability with your research presentation and expand your expertise to your individual and uh, academic idea exchange from the wonderful international meeting. These days we are standing at the center of the big transition era. So we have to exclude our research activity at closed research room without any interaction. Such research activity make you uh, fall behind the, the time of turbulence. It will be such a big mistake to stand the wrong side of the tide of the big change waves. I hope the assembly for the last 10 days served as the forum for you to recognize where the studies have changed from and are going to, and clarify what you will do from now to modify your research direction into deeper understanding of your scholarship university. 
Busan is the most beautiful city in this country. There are various cultures from food to customs that you can enjoy with your new global friend. If you have uh, not enjoyed the moment yet, please stay a few days more and share the Korean variety cultures and food. Enjoy the rest of your time in Korea and go back to your home safely. And I bless your academic process, progress uh, in the future. Finally, I'd like to say that always keep on your health and I'm looking forward to see you again at Cape Town, South Africa in 2024. Thank you again for your participant and goodbye. Thank you. We thank you for your kind support, President Park. Last but not least, please allow me to welcome Kang ye -sung, Chair of the IAUGA 2022 National Organizing Committee for a closing remark. Please welcome Chair Kang to the stage with a warm round of applause. Wow, finally. <laughs> Here we are, okay. Uh, as the chair of the National Organizing Committee for the 31st IU General Assembly, I'd like to say a few words before we close this uh, ceremony. The eight-year-long journey began in 2014 when I uh, first agreed to lead the bidding committee for the 31st General Assembly. After Busan was selected as the host city, Seven years ago in 2015, the GA 2021 NOC was established in 2016. As you all know, due to the COVID-19 pandemic, the GA had been postponed for one year. And the GA 2022 NOC began the preparation for a hybrid meeting. First of all, I'd like to thank all 1,900 registrants, especially about uh, 700 in-person attendees from abroad who had gone through these many complicated steps to come to Busan despite the high cost and high risk of international travels. Then my deepest gratitude goes to the IAU Executive Committees and the Scientific Organizing Committee of Symposia, Focus Meeting, Division Meeting, and the Institutional Meetings. Thanks to their support and hard work, we have reached our goal together, Astronomy for All. <laughs> uh, during the last two weeks, we have experienced a general assembly in a new hybrid format for the first time in the IAU's history. I found that there are four key essential elements in hosting a successful large-scale international meetings. Let me acknowledge the contributions from all colleagues in these four components one by one. We have received generous financial support from the host institutions, the IAU, Korean Astronomical Society, and CASI. Significant contributions from local sponsors such as the, the Minister of Science and ICT and the Busan Metropolitan City, as well as other local supporters listed here. In addition, we are grateful, grateful to all our sponsors and exhibitors for their support. Next, I'd like to ask all NOC members to come onto the stage while I'm calling their names one by one. Please, 조직위원님들 올라와 주세요. 
어, 덕근 안, 정연 초, 준영 최, 아리 청, 정화 황, 호성 황, 청리 김, 도형 김, 지훈 김, 종수 김, 민진 김, 성수 김, 웅태 김, 우진권, 정은리, 황환리, 황성리, 서구리, 영건파, 수정리, 현진심, 이녹송, 홍진양, 석진윤, 앤 성철윤. Thank you so much. 주주견님 인사해 주세요. 다 같이 인사해 주세요. 감사합니다. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. So now you can go back to your seats, please. So uh, during during last four years or so, we had eight workshops with the entire NSC members plus PCO managers, and 32 monthly meetings among six sub subcommittee chairs. I'd like to express my sincere respect for their devotion and the services to Korean astronomical community. Next, I'd like to call our PCO team onto the stage. Messi team, 무대 올라와 주세요. Messi International played a crucial role as the GA Secretariat, and you have communicated uh, with them through these email addresses. And there are about 15 or so hard-working professionals. Here I brought photos of four staff members with whom you may have communicated most. Julie Shin, the Commander-in-Chief. Julie, wave your hand. Uh, Claudia Yoon, the abstract master. Hyung uh, Song for registration and invitation letter. And finally, Yu Hyun Kim for COVID-19 assistance. Please give the entire Messi team a big round of applause. The Messi team, 인사해 주세요. Messi team, 인사해 주세요. Thank you so much. And you may return to your seats. Okay, thank you. Uh, without their passion, perseverance, and professionalism, we would not have made this so far. Finally, I would like to call our volunteers on to the stage. 자봉팀 무대 위로 올라와 주세요. Their names are listed here, but I will not call them individually due to the time limitation. So, so very special thanks go to all volunteers who worked tirelessly at the registration desk session rooms, the child care room, and all around the venue. Thank you. 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 Thank Let's give them a big round of applause. Now you, you may return to your seat.
once again, uh, thank you all so much for coming to Busan and attending the 31st General Assembly. So have a safe trip back home and see you again in 2024 in Cape Town. Thank you. Thank you, Chair Gang. We all appreciate your efforts and dedication, and we hope it paid off well today. Well, um, as mentioned a couple of times, Kang Hae Sung was the first NOC chair of the IAUGA under this pandemic. And she had to juggle and deal with lots of uncertainties and complications. And it was her leadership and devotion which she brought us all together. So I suggest we all give her another big hand to thank her. Next, there will be a traditional Dechita performance. Before that guest on the stage, please move to the reserved seat in the audience. Also, please note that after the performance, flag handover ceremony will be followed. Dechita is marching music that was used during Joseon Dynasty for official visits by kings and officials. It is the music was played when kings and officials traveling to perform public affairs, when ceremonies were held, and when diplomatic envoys came and went. Please welcome the performers with a big round of applause. Yungu Thank you. 
우리말에 비온뒤에 땅이 굳어진다는 속담이 있다. 비에 젖어 질척거리는 땅이 마르면서 오히려 더 단단하게 굳어진다는 뜻으로 어떤 시련을 겪은 후에 더욱 강해질 수 있음을 의미한다. 한국이 개체지로 선정되고 6년 그리고 코로나19로 인해 연기된 1년 그 시간을 견디며 단단하게 하나로 뭉칠 수 있었던 제 31차 IAU 총회. 이제 모두를 위한 천문학의 축제가 막을 내린다. 2022년은 천문학적으로 꽤 뜻깊은 해인 것 같습니다. 우리 은하 중심의 블랙홀 이미지 촬영을 성공한 것부터 초여름밤을 장식했던 행성의 정렬까지 천문학이 대중들에게 많은 사랑과 관심을 받았었죠. 대한민국 부산에서 개최된 IAU GA 2022에서는 1,700여 개의 논문이 205개의 세션에서 발표되었습니다. 코로나 상황에도 불구하고 모두의 열정과 땀이 모여 성공적으로 총회를 개최할 수 있어서 여러 가지로 감사한 마음입니다. 이번 총회의 주제였던 에스트로노미 포 올의 의미가 새롭게 다가옵니다. 모두를 위한 천문학을 얘기하고자 하는 이 자리에서 모두가 천문학의 발전을 위해 노력했으니 올포 에스트로노미라고 할 수도 있지 않을까요? 이제 다음 개최국 이야기를 좀 해볼까요? 다음 개최국은 남아프리카 공화국인데요. 아프리카 대륙에서는 처음으로 개최되는 만큼 사람들의 기대가 아주 크다고 합니다. 지금의 사우스 아프리칸 에스트로노미컬 옵서버트리의 본관 건물이 약 2세기 전에 세워진 로얄 옵서버트리라고 합니다. 아 그런가요? 남아공 천문학의 역사가 정말 오래되었다는 것을 말해주네요. 한국에서 좀 멀기는 하지만 2년 후 케이프타운에서는 어떤 흥미로운 주제들을 다루게 될지 기대가 됩니다. 자 이제 남아공 조직위에게 이것을 전해줄 시간이 되었네요. 얼른 이걸 저쪽에 넘겨주고 저는 조직위원장 역할이 끝났다는 사실을 즐기러 가야겠습니다. 
invite Vanessa McBride and uh, Takalini, Takalani Nermangani for the flag handover. Please come up to the stage. Now the flag of IAU is being handed over to the 32nd General Assembly in Cape Town. Ladies and gentlemen, please give another round of applause to Cape Town. Now, now, with my great honor, uh, I'd like to invite the Chief Director of Astronomy Department of Science and Innovation of South Africa. Uh, here, please welcome Chief Director of Astronomy, Takalani Neumang... <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I learned from him and I still make mistakes. Takalani Nemangani. Sanvonani, that means hello in one of the most spoken languages in South Africa, the Zulu language. The IAU president, Deborah ML. Green, the IAU president elect, Willie Benz, IAU general secretary, Jose Espinosa, IAU officers and executive committee members. Professor Aysen Kang, Chair of the IAU GA 2022 National Organizing Committee, and all members of the global astronomy community. It is a great honor and privilege for me to receive the IAU flag on behalf of South Africa and the entire African community to be the host of the 2024 IAU GA to be held in Cape Town, our beautiful mother city. I accept this flag as a symbol of our commitment to bring us the astronomy world to Africa. And I therefore pledge that we will do our very best to make sure that it will be a highly successful event that will exceed your expectations. The Minister of Higher Education, Science and Innovation, Dr. Blade Mzimande, whom I represent here today, sends you his warmest greetings. And he has already committed resources and support for this event to be a great success. The hosting of the GA 2024 will be supported uh, through the Department of Science and Innovation, represented here by myself, in partnership with the National Research Foundation, represented here by its deputy CEO, Dr. Clifford Nomani. The local organizing committee for 2024, represented by the co-chair, Dr. Vanessa McBride. The African Astronomical Society, represented here by its president, Professor Tebe Medupi. We also have other mem members of the National Organizing Committee present here with us, together with all the other delegates from Africa. 
in the last two weeks, we have enjoyed rich scientific interactions, Korean hospitality and culture, and the beautiful natural heritage that Busan and Korea had on offer under the theme Astronomy for All. I must say that this theme has been fulfilled in the true sense of the word because the GA will be hosted for the first time on the African continent in more than 100 years of the existence of the IAU. Astronomy is not just a subject reserved for a few at the academic institutions because the curiosity sparked in human beings by the night sky is evident in all cultures of the world. The sky belongs to no one, yet it belongs to everyone. Over time, our ancestors have sought to find meaning in the heavens above. Today, our telescopes, instrumentation, techniques, are a legacy to the curious minds that came before us. We strive to find answers to some of humanity's greatest questions. Where did we come from? Where are we going? In this global quest for knowledge, Africa is positioning itself as a hub for astronomy sciences and facilities through projects like the Southern Africa Large Telescope, SALT, the Mirgat uh, Telescope, which will form part of the Global Square Kilometer Array Project, the SKA, as well as the High Energy Stereoscopic System or the HES Telescope based in Namibia and several other telescopes across Africa. More and more African countries are growing their scientific communities, not just in astronomy, but in all other fields. The IAU GA in 2024 will be a time to celebrate astronomy in Africa, a time to celebrate science in Africa, a time to celebrate the incredible achievements of African students, teachers, researchers in a continent that is diverse, energetic, and uh, full of innovative people. The whole city of Cape Town is well known throughout the world as an attractive tourist destination, boasting not only amazing natural wonders such as the mountains, the beaches, the wildlife, but also important historical sites such as the Robben Island, where the late Nelson Mandela spent much of his time, of his life before emerging as one of the most inspirational and influential figures in the world. We feel privileged and humbled that South Africa has been given the singular honor of being the African host country. We will strive for excellence in our hosting of the General Assembly, while at the same time ensuring that the event will leave a lasting legacy to all our people May the rewards brought by the IAUGA prove that the long wait uh, to freedom and for its arrival on the African so soil will be worth it. Kinako, it means it is time for Africa. Come see for yourself how we are contributing to the global astronomy endeavor and join us through research and collaborations as we together reach for the stars. Asante sana, that means thank you. In Swahili, one of the most spoken, widely spoken languages across Africa. Thank you. Thank you for your welcome message. Um, as a chief director of astronomy, Takalani Demaungani. And in addition to uh, a few words that he just taught us, 
He personally told me his first name, Takalani, means be happy in his native language. So that might be something for you to remember before your visit to South Africa. Okay, now I would like to invite Vanessa McBride, co-chair of IAUGA 2024 National Organizing Committee for a welcoming invitation. Please welcome her with a warm round of applause. Good evening, everyone. It's been really fantastic to spend the last uh, couple of days with you. And uh, on behalf of the National Organizing Committee, of the 32nd IAU General Assembly, on behalf of the African astronomy community, many of whom are seated here in the audience today, but many of whom are still back at home on the African continent, we'd like to invite you to join us in Cape Town in 2024 as we make history on the shores of Africa. So see you in 2024 and please enjoy our welcome invitation. We grew up under the stars, our shared skies, connected. In my memories, starlight shimmered off still lakes to create endless African night skies. Inspiration came from the teachings of our mothers, fathers, teachers, role models, where our rich cultural heritage was interwoven with a budding scientific understanding. Our astronomy journey had begun. In Africa, we grew. The animals. The people. The infrastructure. Our culture. In school, we learned what it was to be an astronomer. We gathered our knowledge and strove to break new ground. We challenged and learned and built. And our understanding reached new heights, driving our endless curiosity for the unknown. Today, Africa rises to share our knowledge with the world. We innovate connect, constantly pushing boundaries. We understand we have one world to live in and strive for a sustainable future for all, inclusive and in touch with our environment because Ubuntu, we are all one. We are all Africa. And we welcome you. Welcome to Cape Town, South Africa, the future home of the IAU General Assembly in 2024. Known as South Africa's mother city, Cape Town is a city designed for visitors. It's a vibrant hub, safe, convenient, and easy to explore on foot. The IAU General Assembly will be held in the award-winning Cape Town International Convention Center allowing us plenty of opportunities for all the assembly's needs, including talks, breakout sessions, and exhibition space. Surrounding it are over 20,000 formal hotel bedrooms, 4,000 within walking distance. The city also has a large selection of safe budget accommodation. Hospitality doesn't get better than this. Our impressive creative service industry works tirelessly to create exceptional social events celebrating our unique culture. The award-winning Cape Town International Airport, located just 20 minutes away from the city center and the convention area, was voted best airport in Africa. Convenient public transport is available and connects you to the convention precinct and city center. You'll be spoiled for choice in your free time. The Victoria and Alfred Waterfront 
the most visited tourism development on the African continent, is close to the convention center. It's home to luxury hotels, top-class restaurants, and shopping for international brands and local goods. Delegates will be able to join organized conference tours or use their free time to visit Table Mountain, Robben Island, the Cape Winelands, the natural splendor of Cape Point, and multiple unique experiences in the five regions surrounding the city, including some of South Africa's world-class astronomy facilities. Cape Town and the Western Cape is ready to welcome you to the IAU General Assembly in 2024. Now we are about to close the ceremony. Our last moments together ends with Busan National Kugak Center's Hangmu Chunji Wall, Busan's intangi intangible cultural heritage performance. Please welcome the performers with a round of applause.
I'd like to uh, invite the IAUEC members for the uh, group photo. So um, please come up to the stage, IAUEC members. And now, please give another warm round of applause to IAUEC members. Okay, officially, this is the end of the closing ceremony. And thank you for every single of you for being with us till the last moment. We wish you a safe journey home and look forward to our gathering in Cape Town in two years. It was Eri and Jejun. Thank you, and we wish you a safe trip home. Thank you very much. <laughs>